Keep in mind that that video started with the woman asking, just because we voted for Trump, you think we're racist. I'm a racist because I support our president of this United States of America? Um, yes, basically, yes. And then they lost it. That was when things kind of went nuts. You are so ignorant. That is the worst fucking excuse. Commie yeah, scum. Me, give me a good reason. You're commie give scum. Good We're reason. gonna burn down your bookstore. You know give that, me a right? fucking good reason. And then later in the video, the man can be seen telling people outside the store that quote Trump is going to get rid of all of you pieces of expletive, right? Um, oh, so what do you mean by that? Are you saying that Trump's gonna deport brown people? Like, what is he referring to? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, uh, and also, if you're not racist, if you're not racist, what do you care if someone from a different political ideology thinks lowly, you know, thinks that you are? What, who can't? Why do you care so much? Like it's, it's interesting that it gets under their skin so much. They get so defensive. I think Anna enjoys that it gets under people's skin. I think a lot of people are enjoying that this sort of thing gets under people's skin. She may seriously not understand why people get bent out of shape over that. People try to shed anything that's racist. People try to be as colorblind as possible. Lately, people are told that to be colorblind is still to be racist because of reasons. They can make a long spiel about it and talk about systems and all that stuff, but the goal was originally supposed to be to have colorblindness. That was the goal. When you when you shift the goalpost, it's it's kind of messed up. But most people are trying to very very hard to go against some of the instinctual things that we have within us that are racist or xenophobic or whatever. People work very hard to get past those things. And when they get told that just because they voted for a particular person, that that makes them racist, it, it makes them angry. Because in their mind, they had, they were, they had to choose between this corrupt person or this person that's like playing Russian roulette. You know, corruption or Russian roulette, what do we do? Now, the people in question in the video weren't just thinking that Trump was, was better than Hillary. These people are diehard Trump supporters, and they probably can't give you any real reasons that make sense in a way that go beyond a someone, uh, oh, I believe in all of Trump's slogans. I'm so much of a gullible person that I, that I believe he, Trump means everything that he says. He's going to help the, uh, uh, the, 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 the poor neighbor. He's going to help the coal neighborhoods. He's going to help this, the, uh, the industry. He's going to help all of these things. It's going to change it all. And you, you believe in this tripe. He may do some things that might improve the industry by a small amount, but it, it also has a chance of making, of fucking up the industry too. You know, those aren't the industries that he, that certainly wasn't part of his forte, you know. But uh, he'll certainly find a way f to make it so the CEOs will make a lot of money. If nothing else, right? But yeah, these these kind of diehard Trump supporters who are, are going around causing problems for people. Yeah, you're 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 really making uh, Trump support look bad. It doesn't really make any sense to me to give this full support of someone who you know is corrupt. It's just, I mean, if Hillary would have been elected and people were deflecting all of the things that are messed up about Hillary. You know, it would be, it would be equally as fucked up and is something that should be called out. What scares me are the people who essentially, the percentage is larger than it should be of people who think that Trump was selected by God. Those people are fucking scary. That's, that's terrifying. I mean, the worst we had with the Obama side of things were um, people writing songs about Obama, stately, patriotic songs about Obama. 
but it wasn't like they were saying that he was chosen by God. That's just, that's... And so you have that as the undertone. That's, that's why all of these patriot things, oh, patriot Trump, it's always, oh, with God, because these people seem to have it in their heads that, whether directly or indirectly, have this belief that, you know, if you support Trump, then you're supporting God. This, this is God's, these are God's wishes. That's the sort of mindset that's there, and it's fucking disgusting, I'm sorry.